The first time that I saw this expandable file folder was on the Paper Outpost channel. And Pam had found one of these at a thrift shop and it brought it home, recreated it using a piece of scrapbooking paper. And she had mastered the folds, mastered the cuts. I'll link her video below and you can check out how she does hers. I am Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I am going to try and recreate this expandable journal utilizing three sheets of paper instead of creating it out of one sheet of paper and having to learn the cuts. So the first thing I have done is decided that I am going to utilize five inches by five inches. So I'm cutting all my scrapbooking paper in that square dimension, five by five. You can use six by six, eight by eight, 10 by 10, go crazy, use odd numbers, seven by seven. Whatever you decide will work as long as you manage those dimensions so that it is the same measurement on each side. I have cut five different sets of three because for me, repetition is how I learn. So I am going to do this five times and hopefully get it in my head so I can show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the butterfly paper and we're going to master the folds. So the first fold is a triangular fold. So we're going to fold point to point and create that triangle shape. Then we're going to flip it half a turn and go side to side and create a rectangle. One step first rectangular fold is complete. Turn that so that is north to south to you, the fold line, and create your second rectangle. That creates this plus in the center of the paper. And then you have your diagonal going across. So once again, we're going to start point to point to create the triangle. Flip half a turn and go side to side. First rectangle. Turn that rectangular fold so it is top to bottom or north to south to you. Second rectangular fold. One more time. Point to point, triangle. Flip a half, side to side, rectangle. Turn that rectangular fold top to bottom to you. Rectangle fold again. So that completes the basic construction or the fold lines for the expandable journal. Now to put it together, we're going to go with the diagonal line top to bottom. So you're going to create these peaks and valleys at the top. So peak, valley, peak, valley, peak. Where we're going to glue is in within the confines of the fold lines. So as you're putting this together, you have your piece nestled within the fold lines of the outside piece. So we're going to start by gluing the center piece together. I'm using art glitter glue here for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it has this nice fine tip on it. And number two, it dries really fast. So it allows us to move fairly quickly through this project. I'm just checking to make sure my butterflies are all flying in the same way. So, well, it looks like I'm stopped up a little bit. So let me unclog the tip of my glue. I always lose the glue tip. And I did see the same channel paper out post where Pam had glued a magnet to the side of her art glitter glue to stick that pen. I think that's brilliant. I haven't done it yet, but I promise I will. So we're going to glue that diagonal is going to be top to bottom. And we're going to put a fine bead of glue around the edge, inside edge of that fold. 
and just nestle this piece right inside those fold lines. And you don't want to overlap. Why I'm stressing that is if you overlap those fold lines at all, you're going to make it more difficult to train this folder to expand upon itself or not to expand upon itself, to contract upon itself. And there we go. So now that that is the foundation. That is all together. That's the foundation of this expandable journaling card. Going to go through the folds real fast once again. Triangle. Remember three things. Triangle, rectangle, rectangle. So triangle, first rectangle, side to side. Turn that rectangular fold top to bottom or north to south. Creating that plus with your two rectangular folds. And there you have it. Triangle. Rectangle. Rectangle. One more time. Triangle point to point. Rectangle side to side. Move that fold north to south or top to bottom. Create the plus sign with the second rectangular fold. Glue, creating your peaks and valleys, keeping your diagonal line north to south, top to bottom. Nestle your piece inside the fold lines. Don't cross over the fold lines. And with the art glitter glue, you need to make sure that you have it positioned right the first time because it does adhere in, in uh, dry fast. Okay, now that we have the second one constructed, we're going to slow this down and train the fold. So the first center fold, you want to bring that in. So bring that in upon itself and score that center line. Then we're going to flip it over. I slowed this down to sloth mode. We're going to flip it over and we are going to score the outside diagonal folds out. So we're going to go printed, printed side to printed side here. So just score those two outside diagonal lines out. Center comes in, the two outside come out. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to take that bottom rectangle and fold that up or fold it in and score that line. Then we'll take the opposite side top rectangle and fold that down and score that line. So that trains those folds essentially. So we want the diagonal center to fold into itself or down. And we'll just kind of squeeze that together and secure it. I get a little out of frame here. I'm sorry, but I think you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to take the two outside pieces and pull that diagonal fold in. See how I'm pulling it in? Just train that to come in. And once you have done that, it contracts up into a two and a half inch by two and a half inch square. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and go over those outside edges to get that trained and secure. 
And now you have this expandable note card that just folds into itself. Isn't that pretty cool? So we were successful in creating this out of three sheets of equal sized paper. Okay, and you can see it took me a couple of them to learn those folds and to train those folds. So I spared you all of that learning curve. And now let's just decorate it up. I'm going to go really fast through this. I'm not going to to create a whole video about how to decorate, but I will let you know what I've done. So I am measuring the dimensions two and a half by two and a half, and I'm just going to cut pieces of file folder to use as my cover. You can use chipboard, cardboard, cardstock, whatever you have, food packaging, just, you know, create yourself um, a little hard cover for the top and bottom or, you know, front and back of this expandable journal card. I'm choosing the uh, fabric to show you. So I'm just gonna glue two of my pieces of file folder onto this little gold metallic fabric. I'm pulling out the fabric fusion. And what I'm gonna do with this fabric is once it dries, of course, I'm, I'm going to trim around the edges of it. And then I'm going to shuffle off to my embosser and I'm going to run this fabric through my embossing machine. Once I have it through the embossing machine, I'm going to ink it up with a dark green, I think I used uh, Distress Ink Pine Forest to illustrate the relief that the embossing creates. So I, I'm telling you this now, because I uh, flipped through the video very, very fast. So I just want you to know what I'm doing and what I've done with this piece of fabric. Okay, and I'm just making sure that the ink is, is completely or not the ink, the glue is completely adhered. And there it is after it has been run through the embosser. I've chosen the green ribbon. And what you want to do is glue that ribbon in the center on the back of one of your pieces. And then once you glue it to the expandable folder, then it is adhered and will stay with it. I'm just trimming the ends, tied it in a little bow. And there is the completed expandable journaling card. So I'm going to walk you through them, see how it folds out the little Christmassy paper. And I've used the gold fabric, embossed that fabric and inked it up. It turned out really nice. And this one is a butterfly journal. I did the butterflies with a napkin, used the top layer of the napkin and embossed it to my inked up file folder, inked the inside journaling area. This is just cardstock that I ran through my embosser and inked. I had a couple of uh, blemishes in the paper, so I covered those with the little ephemera stickers. This one I inked and then added lace and some steampunk decoration, gluing. Music paper inked, fussy cut mouse from a Christmas card. And there you have five completed expandable cards labeled with what they are. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. Now, once again, we have the 
decoupage napkin, the lace and steampunk, the textured cardstock, the textured fabric, and the music sheet with the fussy cut old Christmas card. So thank you for joining me for the past 15 minutes. I hope that I was able to explain this in a way that it was easy for you to duplicate. I will ask you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will know when we upload additional content. Thank you.